Guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kaz Marie and we are reviewing Love Island All Stars. Um, before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We are on our way to 200 subscribers. Yes, I'm excited. But um, let's get right into it. We're going to start off with Georgia Mitchell. I don't know. First of all, today's episode was a little bit draggy because obviously Jake left. And I'm just thinking, do we need to go and pick him up at the airport or should we just leave him hanging? Because first of all jake nobody sent you to go in there and i just feel like he only left because his ego was kind of bruised because when you think about it nobody like no girl was checking for him no even liberty nobody wanted him and i'm just thinking it's only three days so uh, like just give it time you know how love island goes they're gonna bring in bombshells like why don't you just have a bit of patience but anyway no girl was feeling him so he decided to leave but yeah we're gonna leave him stranded at the airport i can't bother to drive down there to pick him up anyway we move right on yeah so um georgia georgia h and mitchell i don't know for me that's a no and again i feel like georgia is settling for him because chris doesn't really not that he doesn't want her but he hasn't been paying her any mind so she's settling for not even the next best thing but she's just settling with mitchell for now until maybe if somebody pays her a bit of attention or somebody she likes she will get to know um she did say that he doesn't have any game and she's damn right he doesn't have any game but for me i do feel like he's kind of good looking mitchell's good looking and i feel like he's a little bit quieter but then again, we've just started, so we don't know if he's going to bring his old tricks. What I do feel like he's doing, obviously he's secured, what's the baby girl's name? He's secured, hey, Liberty. He's secured Liberty, so he's put us to the sidelines for now. Because um, if anything else fails, he has Liberty to fall back on. And Liberty, like I said, the reason why I didn't even want Liberty in this one because I just feel like she's not ready for Love Island. And I feel like she should call it a day on Love Island. Go on to Hinge or go on to Match.com. There's plenty of fish. Like, she just needs to exit because it's like... She's very pretty, but it's almost like she doesn't have any confidence in herself. And it's almost like she just keeps looking for validation. Because how is he leaving you on the sideline and you're not trying to get to know anyone else? sis like come on like do better even Kaz is like trying to give her advice and then get off your head a little bit and you know flirt with the other guys a little bit if this one's giving that one a massage say oh yeah you know i want one or like just get out of your head that like, you've been there for a few days get out of your head and just get on you've been there before this is your third <laughs> love island like sis let's get it together or just get out um Anton and Georgia. <laughs> Georgia still. Um, Georgia does not like Anton. She's just trying to keep her options open because he's given her that attention. He likes her. He wants to pursue her, but she doesn't want him. She wants Toby. And she's sitting there on inside of Toby's jacket. She's wearing Toby's jacket, telling you, yeah, uh, uh. So if you just don't leave the girl alone, like she wants Toby. And do I feel like Toby wants her back? No. I feel like Toby, he's checked out with Georgia because it's like it's taken too long for us to get there. And he's checked out, but he's still gonna ride a wave until Chloe comes in. I'm joking. <laughs> but um he did mention about him and Chloe breaking up. Um Georgia H was really asking him the questions and saying, Okay, do you guys how did you why did you guys break up? And Toby's obviously trying to indicate that chloe may have you know done something a little cheeky on a night out or something we don't know but we i don't want the producers to bring in chloe but i do know there's rumors that she might be going in but i don't want them to bring her in because we're not here for x on the beach we're here for love island okay so yeah that's the situation with toby georgia and anton but anton is a little bit hurt but it's okay sir just go it's okay go on to the next person lewis we'll go to lewis next lewis leave leave demi alone um i don't feel like they're gonna get anywhere because dem doesn't really like him she just likes the attention he's given her and um no like i don't feel their connection i don't feel their chemistry i don't i don't see i don't see it and obviously lewis i feel like because girls aren't jumping to, on him the girls are not really like jumping on the guys like they normally would have um so maybe that's why it's a little bit entertaining cause 
I don't feel like Kaz should invest in like I said before, I don't feel like she should invest any more time into Lewis because sis is gonna leave you heartbroken like Tyler did. Yeah, leave him alone. Don't play with his muscles, don't play with his tattoos. It ain't cute, like and I'm trying to like you guys, but you're doing stupidity. Like go and and I feel like the producers as well need to bring somebody in for Kaz because these guys aren't trying to move to her. She's trying to, you know, obviously make her intentions clear with Lewis, but he's not feeling her. So I feel like they need to bring somebody else that's gonna feel her or like, you know. Um Yeah, so Mitch now is I think he wants to go to if I'm not mistaken, Demi. But I don't feel like that's going to happen. Um, okay, let's move on. to. <laughs> I feel like I'm over the, all the place today. All over the place. But this episode was a little all over the place. Chris massaging Molly in front of everybody. And um, kind of flirting with him. Um, you can see Callum is just there like... When we get home, it's going to be problems. Because I will tell you people again. These two, Callum and Molly, came into love island together they came through he threw her airport together they are together and they're going to leave once they collect their check together i'm not buying this whole them arguing in front of everybody um having this dom domestic disputes between every ah, i don't buy it i'm sorry i really like them but i just feel like this is fake drama fake news and the sooner they just stop the better because we know you guys are just in there for the check and baby it's okay you don't have to go so hard because molly you're coming across very childish and it's like you're not giving him a chance to talk or even explain himself when you're asking him things so that whole conversation was just awkward af like it was just really awkward and then shout out to chris because chris came and took molly right out out of that conversation right like after they finished arguing he came and took her went to sit with her was talking with her and he put his move like he kissed her and i was like okay well i can't be mad at it because she's kissing him right back so we know once molly and callum go home it's going to be problems because that was not part of their contract. <laughs> so that's really not part of their contract anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everybody, right? Anton and Georgia. Like the other Georgia, Georgia H. He's tried to talk to her, but I'm just like... I'm still not feeling I don't know Anton again the producers need to bring somebody for Anton because I feel like he's struggling a little bit as well and his confidence and ego might be getting a little bit bruised um and before even the argument with Molly and Callum in front of everybody Molly kept on laughing. Have you did you guys peep it? Like Molly was laughing because you know when you're trying to think of a lie or trying to you know the argument you rehearsed back home and you can't keep up with it. So she kept laughing half of the time and I'm just thinking, girl, like we know this is fake. That's just my opinion. I feel like it's fake and I just feel like did I mind? <laughs> I feel like yeah, they just yeah, no, I'm not feeling it. Um but guys, so what's the end of the episode? Why did they bring Josh back? As in Josh. Charlotte from Jodie Shaw's ex, Josh. From season one. That menace. Like, I'm here for it. Like, I do like Josh. I did like Josh. So it's not an issue. Me, I'm here for the drama and the tea. Um, so guys, make sure you leave comments down below. Let's talk about it. Be in the, sec in the comment sections. Let's knit in that is that the english let's chat and make sure you come back tomorrow for another review thanks for watching guys and if you've reached the end of this video you might as well subscribe see you